Ebola virus disease, or EVD, is a preventable but often fatal viral disease. As of September 2014, a large EVD outbreak was centered in four countries in West Africa, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Nigeria. This outbreak is the largest Ebola outbreak in history and the first in West Africa. EVD poses no substantial risk to the U.S. general population and as of September 2014, there have been no Ebola cases acquired or transmitted outside of Africa. A few U.S. healthcare workers have contracted EVD while treating patients in West Africa. The United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, is working with other U.S. government agencies, the World Health Organization, and other domestic and foreign partners in an international response to the outbreak. CDC has activated its Emergency Operations Center to help coordinate technical assistance and control activities with partners. Several teams of public health experts have been deployed to the West African region and there are plans to send additional public health experts to the affected countries to expand current response activities. But disease control efforts there have been difficult due to the lack of sufficient health care and resources, poor living conditions, misinformation, and local traditions along with avoidance of health care due to mistrust. Ebola virus disease is caused by infection with Ebola virus, which was first discovered in 1976 in what is now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Outbreaks have appeared occasionally in the years since. The natural source of Ebola viruses remains unknown. However, researchers believe that the virus comes from animals, with bats being the most likely origin. Yet researchers can only make an educated guess that the first patient became sick through contact with an infected animal. After the first human illness from an infected bat or other wild animal, human-to-human -human spread begins. When EVD occurs in humans, it is commonly spread by direct contact with a sick person's blood or body fluids, or through objects such as needles that have been contaminated with infected body fluids or through contact with infected animals. In Africa, given how poor the country's suffering outbreaks tend to be, infection in a healthcare setting is common because of a lack of personal protective equipment and the reuse of improper sterilization of contaminated syringes, needles, or other medical equipment. Also in Africa, other common means of Ebola virus spread include preparing the bodies of the dead for funerals or participating in burial rituals that involve handling the body. EVD is preventable, but often fatal to those who become infected. Healthcare workers and family and friends in close contact with Ebola patients are at the highest risk of getting sick because they may come in contact with infected blood or body fluids like vomit or diarrhea. During outbreaks, EVD can spread quickly within healthcare settings where hospital staff is not wearing appropriate protective equipment such as masks, gowns, and gloves. Proper cleaning and disposal of instruments such as needles and syringes is also important. If instruments are not disposable, they must be sterilized before being used again. Without adequate sterilization of the instruments, virus transmission can continue and quickly speed up an outbreak. Only people with EVD symptoms or people who have died from EVD can transmit the disease. 
Diagnosing EVD in an individual who has been infected for only a few days is difficult because the early symptoms, such as fever, headache, and weakness, are not specific to EVD and are often seen in patients with more commonly occurring diseases, such as malaria or influenza. However, if a person shows early symptoms and there is reason to believe that EVD is possible, the patient should be isolated and public health professionals notified. The patient can then be tested to confirm infection. EVD symptoms include fever, weakness, loss of appetite, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, and stomach pain. Rash, red eyes, and bleeding are only seen in rare cases. EVD does not spread through water, food, insect bites, or by air, but only by coming into direct contact with infected body fluids or contaminated objects. There is no FDA-approved vaccine or specific treatment for EVD. Therefore, it is important to take steps to prevent Ebola. There are actions you can take to protect yourself. If you must travel to an area with known Ebola cases, make sure to practice careful hygiene. Wash your hands with soap and water at every opportunity. Carry and use alcohol-based hand sanitizers when soap and water are not available. Avoid contact with blood and body fluids. Do not handle items that may have come in contact with an infected person's blood or body fluids. Avoid funeral or burial rituals that require handling the body of someone who has died from Ebola. Avoid contact with bats and non-human primates such as monkeys, or blood, fluids, and raw meat prepared from these animals. Avoid hospitals where Ebola patients are being treated. If you're traveling to an affected area to provide health care to Ebola patients, you should receive special training in standard contact and droplet infection control precautions and in the use of appropriate personal protective equipment. After your return, monitor your health for 21 days and seek medical care immediately if you develop fever or any other symptoms of Ebola. Tell the healthcare provider about your recent travel and your symptoms before you go in for treatment. Advance notice will help healthcare providers care for you and protect other people in the medical facility. Some patients who sought care soon after symptoms started have survived with only supportive care, such as balancing the patient's fluids and electrolytes and treating for any complicating infections. There are actions you can take to protect yourself if you are traveling to an area where Ebola transmission is occurring. In addition to Ebola-specific precautions, be sure you are adequately protected from more common diseases in the region, such as malaria. See a qualified health care provider to ensure you're fully prepared for all potential disease threats. The situation in Africa is rapidly changing and misinformation is abundant on social media and the internet. For accurate and reliable information about EVD, contact the U.S. Army Public Health Command, the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the World Health Organization. Be informed, be prepared, and stay healthy.